Welcome back to Wood Acres. I'm gonna turn this tree into a bench. in there khaki come on out there you go got any eggs oh yeah you got probably six eggs in there Puppy, what are you doing in here, buddy? What are you doing, Pop? Hey, Sedgwick, you're already out here in the grass, huh, girl? Bonnie not far behind. Come on, pup. So I have this log here out by all the firewood. It's actually pretty much a whole tree. It has the whole root ball still attached to it. So what I'm thinking is using this to make a bench down by the fire ring. I think I can use the root ball here as a set of legs. It's not sitting upright yet, but these two roots here, I think I can use as a set of legs on this side. And then I'm gonna need to use one of these stones to prop up the other side so it makes a nice level bench. I'm actually thinking this stone looks pretty good size and it has a relatively flat bottom and top. I can notch the log to fit right around this stone. Um, I'm actually thinking this one looks pretty good. Okay, puppy, that rock is heavy. You know what that means.
The reason I'm bringing the stone over here beside the log is because I want to get it all custom fit up here. If I have to make any cuts with the chainsaw, then I can. And then all the sawdust and dirt will be up here and not in my stone down by the pond. So I'm going to do a dry fit, pull this log out, lean it across the stone and see how it looks. And then make all my cuts to make it nice and tight and sturdy and the right height that I want the bench to be. What are you doing over here, Bonnie? What do you... You are far from the barn, Bonnie. You coming over to hang... Hey, hey! Easy, bud. Here, Bonds. Easy, bud. You're not used to the chickens being so far away, are you? You find a new pile of compost, do you? All right, Bonnie. Let's get you back to your flock, Bonnie. Come here, girl. Come here. Oh, come here, come here. Oh. Bonnie's one of the more social chickens of the flock. If I'm outside working with Echo Pup, she likes to hop the fence and come over and see what we're doing. But we don't have a fence around our whole property, so I don't want to lose her. We'll get her back in there. Everybody looks like they want a little snack. Hey, ladies. Here, Mumbles. Here, Mumbles. Come here, bud. Come here, Mumbles. Come here. Yeah, come here, bud. Ooh, you're flying, girl. Come here, Mumbles. First dibs. First dibs. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that's my buddy. All right, everybody can have it. You go get it, Mumbles. Mumbles is my guard goose, so I give him a little bit of preferential treatment. Or her. I don't know yet until spring whether or not she lays an egg. is a little high. We're definitely gonna have to do some custom cuts and get it a little bit more comfortable. I don't normally swing my feet. My first concern is how long the bench is gonna be. So looking where the bench is gonna sit, I have that much space before I can set that big stone. I'll probably set that square stone right about there. So that would give me seven feet to go all the way to this point and that'll be definitely far enough because I don't want to block off access to the pier 
Oh, and that's gonna be a pretty big root ball. I'll probably even trim that root ball down so it fits the area a little better. Now that I'm looking at it, I could probably cut the log at eight feet, put the stone right there ending at seven feet, and then I can notch the log like right over the stone. I've been picturing this log bench sitting here for a while now with that specific log since I've seen it up at my brother's. Whenever you're building with natural wood and stone, you can't always go with a predetermined plan. You can plan beforehand and get an idea of what you want, but once you actually start working with the shape of the natural wood or the shape of the stone, sometimes the plan changes. It's looking pretty level. I don't even have to notch that stone. It's actually looking nice and straight all the way across right now. I am gonna cut the end off though, so it's not hanging over the walkway the way it is now. So it'll be still an eight foot bench. I do like the way the root ball's sitting right now. All the uh, legs of the root ball are actually touching. We have four points, so it actually looks like it's coming out of the ground a little bit right there to me. I think it looks pretty good. I might be able to go with it right now. This end of the root ball is still a little high. I might cut it off flat right there so we can use it as like a cup, cup holder area. And uh, we might be good after that. That was the Walt saw. Did pretty good for a battery chainsaw, but it's hard to cut through roots because the grain doesn't really run straight. So hopefully cutting this log through the trunk here is gonna be a little easier. She's holding. See if we can get her down to the pond. Oh, hey, bud. I thought I'd drive this time. Hey, can I? Can I? Can I drive this time, pup? 
Hey, down. Down. Oh, don't sit. Down. Puppy. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Thank you. There she is. I think she looks gorgeous laying here. This I counted the rings and I think it was about a 35 year old tree. So we're putting use to this log for another few years while it's still in good shape. That root ball is just gorgeous hanging down there for legs and then this stone keeps it perfectly level. Oh yeah, I think it looks great right here. That stone was a perfect fit for it once I cut the stumps or the roots down on the other side. I think it's the perfect height for sitting. I don't know if any of the shorter people think it's good but at 6'4", I think it's a good height. I think the root ball adds a ton of character for down here at the pond, and it just lends itself to the natural stone and wood look of the whole pond. We have more logs around the pond, so this one just blends right into the whole design and fits perfect. I think the bench will work out really well for a while. It's permanent seating here down by the fireplace. If you ever want to just come down and have a seat real quick, you don't have to bring a chair with you. I do want to get some bigger stones around here so I have more seating options. I just want some uh, large enough stones you can walk up and sit on comfortably. I just want to keep it all natural so the log bench and any large stones you can just walk up and sit on. If you want any backrest, you'll have to bring a chair down. Pump up. I am still working on the stone pad here. I don't have enough flat stone to actually get it to, to look the way that I want it to yet. But getting the log bench in here is just one step closer to finishing this place. It is getting a lot closer now that we have the beach. Now that the beach is in, I can finish the stoning around the intake bay and bring it across from the pier. And then all that's left to do is fill in this whole area with some pea gravel in and around everything to really dress it up and make it look clean. And once I get all that done, I should be about 70% done with this pond. So I hope you enjoy coming along and building this pond with me and Echo step by step. And you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.